Welcome, Oil City High School. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally here. Your own news broadcast. I'm Mark Olin. And I'm Connor Taylor. Oiler News starts now. Student Council wants to know if you have what it takes to be named the best Foursquare team at OCHS. On Saturday, November 21st, you'll have your chance to prove that you and your friends have what it takes to be crowned the champions. The tournament will be teams of high school boys, high school girls, alumni, and teachers and adults. You can sign up during any lunch period. All the money will be donated to the Euler Marching Band Fund. See any student council member if you have questions. Yeah. Speaking of Forster, here's a video now. The new marching band hats have plumes to go from the front to the back, and there's also a new design in the front. On the inside, the hat has Velcro so it fits any type of student. The new band uniforms have Oil City written on the left sleeve and OC on the collar. They also have a neat printed oil derrick on the left hand side of the coat. The coat zips up in the back so there's no more buttons or anything. Um, the pants themselves are like overalls and they have one zip up the front and can be adjusted to just about any person's size. In the bottom of the pants and in the cuffs there are snaps. That way if people have like shorter arms or shorter legs they can snap the pants instead of sewing them or cutting them like we did the old uniforms. Hmm, those uniforms do look crisp. Indeed, Mr. Taylor, indeed. Seniors planning to go on the New York trip are reminded that their next $20 deposit is due to Mr. LeVan by Friday, October 30th. Additional deposits are due November 30th, January 30th, and February 27th. As an ongoing project, Mrs. Oaks's chef class is producing a tempting cookbook called Small Town Favorites. They are hoping to have the cookbooks ready for purchase by Christmas time. They would make a great gift. The proceedings will go to updating chef supplies and various activities they have planned. Yearbook sales will begin at all lunches starting Monday, October 26th and continue through November 13th. The cost for all new, all color yearbooks will be $60. Students can pay with cash or check made out to Oil City Yearbook. Yearbooks ordered between November 14th and November 30th will cost $65. 
Winter is almost here. We'll now show a video from our own Abby Williams with how to stay healthy. If you haven't noticed already, the temperature has been gradually decreasing. The conditions during the next few months will be very unpredictable. What we can be sure of, though, is cold weather. Many may think that it's the cold weather that makes one sick. This is where students begin to blame the school for not being warm enough. However, it's not the cold weather that creates the viruses. During the winter, people are more exposed to each other. Students are more likely to spread viruses for being in such close contact. When everybody is inside during the winter, they are much more likely to become meadow. Viruses also spread more rapidly when the air is dry. In the winter and fall, the atmosphere is much drier than in the summer. When everybody turns on the heaters, the air dries out much quicker than you think. How can you prevent catching the cold or flu? Make healthy choices. Wash your hands often and try not to spend a lot of time around anyone who is sick. Also, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. If you do happen to become ill, stay home and allow your body to recover. It usually doesn't last too long, but it can be miserable. As for the cold weather, there's not much you can do to change it. Wear layers and be patient. It's predicted to be a very cold winter. OCHS has set up a Windows Live group for information related to the new graduation project meeting. You will find forms for community service, job shadowing, and the career fair. You can also find community contacts to set up community service and job shadowing experiences. You can join the group by visiting oilcitygradproject.groups.live.com. Stay up to date with all the OCHS news by visiting the school newspaper site and by following them on Twitter. The Euler, OCHS's student newspaper, can be found at theoiler.weebly.com. You can also follow them on their Twitter account, OilCityHS. Well, this year's homecoming was one of the best in recent years. You can relive the memories by checking out the videos on the school's YouTube site, OC Schools. If you're interested in being a part of Euler News as an anchor, reporter, or behind the scenes, or if you'd like to work on the Euler newspaper, stop by Room 5 for more information. The Kevin Harriet Chronicles. You've heard the tales, the legends. Now for the first time, experience a brief look at the controversial issue. Well, that's all for us here at Euler News. Thanks for stopping by.